So I've had requests for Rust Ranch updates video, which will not be this one. <laughs> I promised I promised them a Rust Ranch video, at least for Vlogmas. Oh man, I can see right through the top of that windshield all the way out the back door. Yeah, so can everybody. <laughs> Out here on the internet in front of God and everyone. Oh wow, I can see. It must be rusted through here because when you wiggle this, this wiggles like this. Yeah, the whole, the whole skin, they mouse nested her in there. All right, so there's all 71 and twos. It'll have the 400 badge, but there's two different types of 400s. Go open there That's so far enough. So there's a 400 small block and then there's a 402 big block. Big block, isn't it? But Chevy didn't tool up for a badge <laughs> for the 402 <laughs> cheapos. It was the whole 1960 and 61 hood letter debacle all over again. You know about that, right? You told me, I don't remember what Yeah, it was. so the guy that designed the 60 the bean counters read him the riot act because they were like hey you spent too much on tooling and so the guy's like no problem we'll just reuse them again on the 61 design <laughs> and when i had this thing up on the trailer i snuck under there with a bar and it's locked so yeah, just a rebuilder. So the big block cars, they had this little skinny fan shroud with the three ribs. The small block had the four rib <laughs> shroud. Just smaller. Yeah, just shorter, longer. So this is an AC car. The, much resale, resale on the I mean, if somebody had a 72 Chevelle or Impala or pickup or whatever and wanted a 72 date crack big block. Yeah, parts car, like derby that. car. That kid in, I don't know where he's from, Indiana or Ohio. He's been looking for a ratty clamshell to put on the street, and so fit that bill. it's ratty enough, yeah. <laughs> it's got, what, what was it, Mercury or something had that flow-through ventilation? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the, uh, this is the Chevy version. Ret retrofitted flow-through ventilation. Yeah, that's yeah. You know, the thing is like a guy could take a roof off of a derby car and skin it scab it back together if really wanted to but i don't know you know that they, they just they sit so long and like all that stuff for the tailgate you're gonna have kind of a pill getting it to work again and the sad part is you know like there's probably cars better than this that are getting tore apart for derby well, but they, I, they wouldn't want this for derby either because it's so weak oh they'd build it yeah even 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 a rusty clamshell makes a good derby car just because of the way it's built the structure. just yeah i mean there's some some types of cars they'll get rusty and they're not really worth the effort but these and you know and granted yeah, the sheet metal, the tin's rusty, but the frame and the structural areas underneath are pretty, pretty decent still. So, yeah, roof rack, wood grain, bumper guards, and the big block. Other than that, it's pretty, pretty uh, standard. Yeah, you see. But like it's got the hard plastic steering wheel and the straight column, no tilt.
crank windows. It's, it, all it's doing right now is incurring, incurring rent fees at the restaurant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to get... Oh, turn around, turn around. What do we got? Oh, my. We got the running, driving, <laughs> electrical van. We got the... That was a impulse purchase on the online auction that turned out to be turned out nicely. <laughs> a prince, not a frog. It's got a 302 in it. Extended cab workman. That. There's some rust on the floor, but that's about it. Yeah. So I've had requests for rust ranch updates video, which will not be this one. <laughs> I promised. I promised them a uh, rust ranch video at least for Vlogmas. And then there's, I've, I've made import corner since. Import corner, yeah. So that's a little teaser. Oh, teaser yeah, for. Uh, you bring over those imports. Yep. Little teaser for Vlogmas. Rust ranch has gotten a little filled up since the last rust ranch videos. This is a Wyoming car. Parked in 85, so you have to realize that at the time, 84, your Chrysler front wheel drive minivan was introduced. Then 85, you had the Chevy Astro van. And then 86, Ford had the Aerostar. So in those three years, by the time 86 rolled around, if you had your had to have been just your brand preference, like you could buy a minivan. Yeah. And these, I mean, they were a dinosaur. You'd already been past the oil embargo and you had electronic fuel injection coming on and the power and efficiency that a v6 would have gotten you know roast me in the comments about the numbers but <laughs> it was pretty uh pretty comparable let's say and these cars john tells me when he worked at the salvage that there would be several big block wagons that would come in in the week pontiac old chevrolet and they would he said he was the torch guy and they'd buy them for like a hundred bucks a car running driving you know probably trade-ins from the dealers nothing wrong with them and he says he, the loader guy would flip them on their side he was the torch guy he'd cut the motors out and they'd toss the bodies in the pile like like back at the time like Man. guys were derbying them but, but there, there were so, so many, many oh, that it'd be like <laughs> 90s crown vicks today you know like they're still still crushing those because there's not enough guys to derby them all and now this car like in this condition is a stripped roller to the derby guys is pushing five thousand bucks just as a stripped roller. As a stripped roller, yeah. Oh. So I was in 2800 with the buyer's penalty. It was like 26 on the bid. The the premium was And then the gas to get there and back. Gas to get there and back. But like this thing must have sat in the junkyard and it was like where they stole stored all their bumper jacks cuz this whole back load floor was totally full. They just had a convenient door that you open once oh yeah opened with a pickaxe yeah there's a lot of uh little quarter inch cubes of glass that got reseeded down the freeway on the 500 <laughs> mile trip home so this guy's like hey would you sell those bumper jacks there's like 20 or 30 of them in there i was like no there's more than 20 or 30 and i was like hey just take them out you know line them up and he lined him up. He's like, yeah, you were right. He's like, how about 200 bucks? So that paid for the buyer's premium. And then I kept buyer's fee. Buyer's, buyer's penalty. penalty. There, there you go. 
So I kept about five or six to put in some of the old cars, but I don't know, you know, like the raccoons have totally destroyed the interior. That's rough. So if that kid out east wants to bring the thing back, I guess it'll be here until he decides or see what happens. Last piece of trivia, the 72 was the last year that the Kingswood name was used. Then 73, you had the Caprice Estate and just the regular Impala.